You're right, kids, it's Ross Clark. And a regular question I get asked on my servers, and repeat advice I seem to offer, is what map to start on for PvP. Over the years of playing Ark, and the new curveball Genesis has powerhouse thrown ever away, it seemed fitting to bestow my knowledge and opinions upon you lucky bubs. Obvious disclaimer is obvious, but these are indeed just my opinions. If you think otherwise, pop it in the comments, guys. Okay, enough chit chat. Let's break it down and rank. I said rank. From worst to best starter PvP map. In at number eight is Lagnarok. I know what you're thinking. And if this was a list of ranked PvE maps, it would be very near the top. But ranked as a PvP map, you'll have one major problem, guys. Trolls. The ever popularity of Ragnarok brings with it a hot spot for trolls. Unless you've built very, very hidden, expect to log into a layer of dust left from your starter base. It'll be interesting to see what happens when Crystal Isles drops in the summer, as I fully expect it to be the new Ragnarok, potentially migrating your resident trolls to Bergen Town. In at number seven, Barbaration. Slow and brutal comes to mind owed to the punishing wilds and environments. Without flyers and delayed progression compared to other maps, whereby farming towards tech is a challenging climb to say the least. Not to mention the trending phrase of who the hell do I get off this map? Puts it near the bottom. Great for late game, hidden storage, but starting here is a no-no. Number six, Jenny Piss. Aha, <laughs> Genesis, full of promise with some creative build locations. But dropped on its head of birth with limited places to live, an overwhelmingly confusing cave damage system. You still get cave damage in the open. And of course, popularity with it being quite fresh still, which draws a particular blend of raid thirsty fiends. In the word of Snape, no, Mr. Potter, no. Coming at you at number five, Scorched Girth. It was a close one with number four because it really depends on if you're playing unofficial. If you are, put it in at fourth place. If you aren't, expect the elements to drop the nut on your sweaty forehead, melting to the blistering heat, punishing your desire for a metal base. So, why so high? Well, within vast desert is a mostly deserted, see what I did there? Occupancy, allowing you some time to get on your feet. There are a few hidden spots to boat, to boat, to boot, and living on the edge serves a better lifestyle than the saying. Hold tight for number four, it's Ireland. Good old Ireland. The memory lane trip to where many an ARC veteran opened the cracked den door. It's a place to learn the ropes, there's really no better from both the canon and PvP mindset. Since most other maps appear to be more attractive, it's one of the lesser frequented locations. Although it's where the term beach bub originated, so take heed and don't build on the beaches. There's a wide variety of caves and dense foliage to keep your head down. But beware, it's an Alpha or Mega Tribes hotspot who like to keep their first love stick around like a possessive ex. In at number 3 is Vaguero. Higher than most on the list because the map buzz wore off. Valguero is a journey filled with rich, cheeky base locations and materials to push you to big boy base. Arguably the least punishing of maps. The scenic environment brags a list of hidden base spots across a rather wide and vertical venture. The Aberration Zone in particular is a favourite of mine, rarely used being inferior to the actual Aberration, with many great spots to isolate yourself in and away from prying eyes, if you get creative. In at number 2 is Instinction. To no surprise, Extinction is a great starter map, brimming with hidden locations, and more importantly, your quickest path to tech. 
Resources are plentiful and if you know where to look, with Vangs and OSDs offering a great source for loot. It's strongly underused, allowing you some piece to play to a point of priority, uh -oh. where you'll likely want to move on from once ready. Owe to that titan fear everyone gets. See, sharing a map with the three monoliths that hold an improved advantage on their origin maps just makes this number two. And here we are, the Holy Grail number one, Center. The creamy crop is deservedly award to the Juicy Center, a starter's dream for hiding within one of the many rat holes it offers. And there are many. Considering how old the map is, the OG of mud maps brought to official boasts an ever-growing wealth of hidden locations, drops are plenty, and interestingly improved RNG on high-level worlds. If you're starting out, I can think of no better location to improve your odds of PvP survival. It's been my haven many a time, and I hope this vertical scene of beauty will become yours. And that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button and let's see if we can make this the most thumbed yet. Hmm. For every sub I get, that's one less Bob dead on the beach. So make sure to keep them coming guys, peace out.